Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. Child of God, your enemies, they know. They know that God is reviving everything that seems dead in your life. I want to speak to somebody through the help of the Holy Ghost, what I'm hearing right now, that you, that people were running from because you fell into some situation, into some situation instead of them to help you they started running away because god have helped you every one of them will come back looking for you why because they will see that they are they will see that god have helped you somebody god is reviving you god is reviving you whatsoever that died in your life that make people to start looking down on you God is bringing it back to life. To somebody you are hearing me right now, every one of them that left you, that were supposed to help you, they are about to see the hand of God upon your life. Hallelujah. They are about to see the hand of God upon your life. I don't know who this person is. People run away from you. They ignore you. Why? Because you were not at your best at that particular time. And you are like, instead of running away from me, why can't you help me? Because people run away. They run to where there is success. And they forget that anyone that is helped, anyone that is encouraged, anyone that is prayed for, anyone that is directed can also be successful. The world has failed in that aspect. They run to a place that is already made. And they forgot one thing that a journey of a thousand miles all started with a single step. Started with a single step. What seemed dead in your life? God is bringing revival. God is bringing revival. Hallelujah. Because they see now that it will never be like it was for you. Because the Lord is changing everything that needs to be changed in the life of this person. The Bible talks about a woman with the issue of blood. The Bible says this woman has family. When you look into the story of the woman with the issue of blood, she has family. She used to have friends. She used to have neighbors. She used to have people who were close to her. But when things fall apart... When she became sick and the sickness was not going away, the Bible recorded that she was abandoned. The people who were supposed to encourage her, she, they abandoned her. They abandoned her. But there is a God in heaven who will never abandon those that seek him, who will never turn them away, who will never ignore those that call upon his name. Glory to Jesus. The Bible says this woman pushed. He pushed forward because of the smell in her body. The crowd, the crowd started giving way because they could not perceive the, the smell that was, the, the, they don't want to perceive. Yes, they could not stand the smell that was coming from her body. But the Bible recorded that this woman pressed forward. She seek after Jesus. She said, I need to see this Jesus because if I can't see her, see him, I know if I can touch him, though people might have abandoned me, they don't want me to touch them. But if, if I can touch this man called Jesus, I know I will be made whole. Hallelujah. And from that moment, the Bible recorded things turn around. Yes, the Lord changed everything for the life of that woman. The Bible recorded in Matthew chapter 9, verse 20. It says, And behold, a woman which was which, which, which was diseased with an issue of blood. It said, For twelve years came behind him, 
and touched the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, If I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort, thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. Yes, men may have torn away from her. Their family may have abandoned her. The Bible says she has spent everything that she had in the house of magician looking for solution, but there were no solution anywhere. Rather, they took everything that she has. They did not give her and they could not give her the solution that she want. The Bible said that she became abandoned. She became battered by that sickness. She became neglected. She became empty. There was no hope, no hope. But when she saw Jesus, she said in her heart, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. Somebody, I need you to understand that everyone that left you because of the situation that you were passing through, I know they are seeing now that things will never be like it was before. Yes, because God never told those that seek him, that seek him in times of pain, in times of good things, in every situation, those that seek the Lord, they shall find him. The Bible says in Matthew, seek ye the Lord. It says, seek and ye shall find. Child of God, I need you to know that everyone is seeing that there is a great revival that is coming upon your life. The Bible says that that woman was revived. The Lord revived her body. She became whole. She became whole. Somebody, God is able, and that God that is able is working on your case. He's working it out for you. I can see everything concerning your life is turning out for good in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need you to understand when God says that it will never be like it was before. That is to say, if you cry to sleep last night, this night the Lord will give you joy. You will go to sleep with joy and happiness. If you cry for food day before yesterday, today the Lord will put abundance in your hands. Revival of fruitfulness. This is what I am also hearing right now. The Lord is going to revive the fruitfulness of somebody. And I see a basket and I am praying for you that that basket will not be empty of fruit. Hallelujah. It will not be empty of fruit. Yes, because the reason why they left, it is because they saw there were no fruitfulness. Everything was dried. But God is able to sprinkle water, you know, to bring dews upon any dry ground. Because he's the one that created the land. He's the one that created the earth. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, the Lord is saying that there shall be no more dryness in your life. And there shall be fruit. Because people left you because they felt that they were, they were nothing for them to benefit. Oh, no fruit. They rushed to another place. Oh, no, so, no, 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 no money. They run to another place. You are like, this is when I need them most, but they are not there. This is, this is when you need them most, but they are not there. But the Lord is there for you. He is your shield. He is your shepherd. You understand what I'm saying? I am praying for you that your situation will not remain the same. Yes, it will not remain the same. Ch things are changing for your good. There is about to be abundance of fruit. In your life in your household that which that make people to abandon you the lord is attending to that case the bible said they abandoned that woman because she was passing through issue of blood for 12 years that was why that was why they abandoned her they did not abandon her because she was a witch or because she was a, an evil person no but because she find herself in a situation that she did not know how to come out from. But when Jesus came, there was there, there came a solution. And Jesus brought cure to the situation that made people to run away from her life. Somebody, you are hearing me right now. God is bringing cure to that problem that made people to abandon you. 
God is bringing cure to that situation that make people to neglect you. I pray for you, revival upon your life in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.